Hey everybody, welcome back to my Anime Right Channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be watching Song of Spider, So What, episode 17. Last episode we left off with Ariel, the demon lord, about to confront Kumiko, our spider. Um, Kumiko just recently, during the episode, gained the immortality ability. Uh, I've been told by uh, some commenters that immortality comes with varying degrees, you know. So... Immortality could be you die but come back as something else or you resurrect then or you just there's other forms of it I guess so but I'm pretty sure this version of immortal means she's just immortal she'll she can't be killed essentially so that's what we've got going on here as far as I'm concerned I believe she uh was blown to pieces by Ariel now how her immortality works with this I'm not sure like, is she just going to regenerate a whole new body? Or are all the pieces just going to congeal back together? Or does she just kind of stay in this state until she levels up? Um, so there is that, I guess. But I don't I don't think it's going to be as negative as I would think it could be. So I, I think she's just going to kind of pop back into her normal form somehow. Okay, so we've also got um, Shun... And Faroon, uh, Faroon has attained a, a, a humanoid body. And um, they're now heading towards this underground dungeon so that they can travel through it to get to where, um, I believe it's where Natsumi and the rest of them are, Sophia. So that he can intercept them before they go and slaughter a bunch of else. So... Let's get on with this episode, though, see where it brings us, see how this battle between Kumiko and the Demon Lord goes, and if we get any more elite head si insight into what's going on with Natsumi, Sophia, and them, because we're, we've been focusing on our people. Uh, I'm wondering if they'll focus on them at all. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you there. All right, everybody, here we go. Okay, so here we're here with the demon lord right now. So she's the mother of mothers. So she's like Kumiko's mom's grandma or something like that. No. Oh. I like how they do a side by side of them. Cuz like Everybody pretty much knows who they both are. Why are they blurring out where she's cut up like that? That That's kind of weird to me. Like, either draw it to where you don't need to do that, or just don't blur it out. That's really weird. Wow, they're probably tired as crap. I'm pretty sure they just came in waves to attack them once they got into this cave. Jeez, that's kind of mean for him. Because they're basically monsters like she is. I mean, I'm sure there are dragon hunters out there that would love to kill her. Oh wow, so basically some form of dementia or paranoia can onset through being down here for extended periods of time. That's kind of unique and uh, something that uh, could possibly be an actual thing. Like do um, people who go cave uh, dwelling, like uh, going through caves and things of that nature, do they experience this? I thought that was Faroon at first. So that was Shun having the dream, right? Proficiency threshold reach, it hurts.
Yeah. She knows who it is. She knows that it's Kimiko. That's why she thinks she's dead. So... Does she believe Kumiko's dead because others said she was? She can't really sense them. Because I thought she had some way of sensing all the students. Which is how she knows they're dead. But she's just guessing. It's strong. You bet she is. Try and die. The monsters are so much stronger in this world than the people, it seems like. Like, absurdly stronger, mind you. Because... Julius was, I'm sure, at his, at least near his peak, right? Incredibly strong. The strongest hero with the hero title. So, you would think that he would be incredibly powerful. And just nothing. On par with dragons. So the monsters that Kimiko has been fighting this whole time are on par with dragons. Like even the frog, the lizards, really. So there are more of the vestiges down there, the after imagers or after, some people think that they're actually Kumiko's children because she has the egg laying ability, but I was told that she's never used it just because she has it or has, she doesn't have it. She has the chance to get it, but she hasn't gotten it. So she hasn't used it, but that's assuming that they would have shown us that. So. Take that for a grain with a grain of salt. She these are either things created by her power that have been left behind because she's so strong, or these are her literal children she's made somehow. So actual Kumiko or Oh man, whatever this is is big. Yeah, you know, high rinse is able to keep up with it. So is it really that fast? Yeah. <laughs> you it's an earth dragon. Come on now, front. Pop up. You know, whatever she just did to chug right off. Yeah, all you managed to do is upset it. Some of the fight animation is really lackluster, I gotta say. She has like the Ken Eater <laughs> title, so yeah. I don't know why she didn't initiate the fight. She's literally one of them. How is having a better ability cheating? Oh, so suddenly they're able to damage it. Like, a lot. Like, I know they said don't use certain attributes, but come on now. <laughs> Holy magic. Okay. See, I can go with this. Holy magic's pretty powerful in literally every game. Dragon Slayer. So she's getting some of the ability, or he's getting some of the abilities Kimiko has. Did they?
something else. The vestige. Just watching the fight. Are they communicating with Kimiko? Are the vestiges basically like her parallel minds? Mother, yep, exactly. Wow, this is kind of creepy. Everybody's gonna die, try to survive. Uh, well... Are we dying or are we surviving? Which is it? Hold up! Wait a minute! Why leave them alone if they don't attack? What's, what's the point? They had valuable information to tell him. Yeah, I think guy's acting a little absurd here. It's not like he affected the party in any way whatsoever. But why would they? He literally said if they don't attack them, they won't attack the party. So why are we worried? That's interesting. Was that Administrator D? Who was that? Which one was that? Spooky. Has to take off all their clothes to uh, transform into a dragon. That's cute. <laughs> She's like, uh, Kajala. Yeah, I don't think she'll ever drop Shun. I think she's in love with him. She's definitely, more than likely, a lot faster than these wasps things. So there's no way that they'd even be able to attack them. Why didn't they all ride on her there? Was I missing something? So they've made it. We are back with Kumiko's floating head. Okay, that's what I was wondering. So, she got blown apart. Did the Demon Lord leave? Is Ariel still there? Wow. Oh, that's kind of funny. She's still that powerful. It's just a head. Well, the rest of her body's growing back. So, her limbs and things that were blown off, those, those are literally dead. This game is shit. <laughs> Hello. What a snitch. Snitches get stitches. Okay, so she's not a mortal immortal. Because she can still destroy her soul. So would she just have like an immortal body? Kind of like a, a zombie forever? So she's able to transfer her soul possibly. 
Oh, so she's wondering why the parallel minds are still here, bothering and we're trying to sever the connection. Oh, shit! Did they hurt her somehow? Right? Hmm. All right, everybody. So we have Kumiko at the end, and she basically said she's not immortal. She can still die if her soul is destroyed. That said, she said she could also move her soul into different bodies. So is this how she gets the human form? Is she moves her soul into a human body? Or does she evolve, evolve into a human body? So there's that. She could also, I'm wondering if she can do something kind of like, um, Dude from Harry Potter movie, Voldemort. If she can do like the, oh, what are they called, cruxes or something like that, where he basically puts part of his soul into different things so he can't die, essentially. Is she able to do that, put like her soul into different bodies to essentially stay immortally mortal? So the parallel minds somehow attack Ariel and were able to actually hurt her i'm not sure what they exactly did but ariel is pissed off about whatever it is so i'm also wondering if somehow the parallel minds with kumiko are able to form some kind of connection with ariel and this is why she can't kill her or doesn't kill her and um or if she like imparts part of her soul into ariel or something to that effect it, it gets kind of uh Theories can kind of go off the wall with this because it seems kind of interesting. Because there's quite a few things that I could think of that could happen to make it so that Ariel doesn't kill Kumiko. Um, we've got the party now about to engage Sophia and Natsumi and the rest of them before or after. Confront them when they're about to attack the Elf Village. I'm not sure if they're actually there yet or if they're still on their way there. Maybe... They'll be able to get there before and warn the village so they could they could set up some kind of counterattack. We've also had where Shun talked to the Nightmare Vestiges, which I'm actually wondering if they're kind of like the Parallel Minds and they were just kind of left behind because there's a lot of them. So either there's somehow parts of Kumiko's power that were left behind in a way um from like just i'm not really sure how to describe it but like after images of her power manifested in physical body or if these are her kids i'm leaning more towards these are actually her kids she had kids she acquired the egg laying ability at some point it just wasn't shown to us because not everything's shown to everybody in the series even in the books they probably wouldn't you know tell you literally everything that happened so i think that these are her actual kids she got the ability at some point in time during the gaps that we have yet to go through or see and had kids and just left them there to basically watch over the dungeon or the other spiders that were there because they're essentially one big family and that guy did mention that um the hole in the ceiling was left there by the previous ruler of the spiders so kumiko's mother is more than likely gone at this point in time. so if she's the previous one kumiko is probably the current master because they said master the, the best is just a master mother even if she doesn't have the egg laying ability which i find a, just i don't believe she doesn't but if she didn't they're still referring to her as mother, so they're essentially still children of some form. Um, but with that being said, let me know what you all thought of the episode. Uh, let me know if you, what uh, running theories you have that could happen. Let me know what you all thought of the episode. I really love this show. I pre-ordered her figure. I'm going to do an unboxing of that when it comes in, but that's going to be a while still yet. And with that being said, thank you all, and I will see you all next time. Da 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 da